Susie, where is my 905? He's just arrived, Dr. Jenkins. I'll send him in. Thank you. You're late. You must be my 905. You're Frederick's brother, correct? Yes, I am. That is to say, we are brothers. Yes, well, we're all fine. That's enough of the pleasantries. We both know why you're here. I've read over your resume, and, well, it's to say a little on the average side, isn't it? Look. How about we take the interview this way? You pitch your novel idea to me. I'll give it and see how we go. Yes, um... The novel idea, um... It's, uh... Still under development. Uh, that, that is to say, I haven't quite put the, uh, the proverbial pen to the, uh, proverbial paper yet. Uh, but I assure you, the ideas are being kept... up here. Look, there seems to be a disconnect here. Look, my 910 must be waiting for me. How about you give your business card to my receptionist on your way out, and we'll try to get back in touch with you, hmm? Fraser! You're late. There's a line for the coffee, you know. Ah. So, did the meeting with Jenkins go well? It was fine. You know I was hounding him for months to see you. Yeah, I said it was fine. So? So what? So did you schedule a second appointment? Well, they said that they'd call me back. They said they'd get in touch. Did you give them your cards? I told you to prepare a few business cards. They said that they would definitely call me back. Definitely? Did you get a time? A date? It's always useful to be prepared. No, they just said that there would be short contact. Good, good! So the wheels are in motion. I always knew you could do it, Fraser. You just needed a little extra push, is all. All right, Fraser, I've got a scram. I'm some keynote at some undergrad grunching in an hour, and I'd hate to be late. We'll get dinner tonight, yeah? Chinese? Alright, sounds good! You know, I, uh, I had an interview with the uh, top novelist contractor today. Oh yeah? Yeah, um, he practically forced me to sign up with him, you know, I'm, you know, this is, this is it, wait, I'm, I'm the big time now. So, uh, when do you start? What? You know, uh, do you start Monday morning, do you have a nice desk, do you sit in an office with a view, you know, that sort of um, stuff. Uh, it, it, it's not a desk job per se, I mean, I, I, I write books for him, he's a contractor, I write books for him and and um, he, he licenses the books and sells them, and, and, and I rake in all the profits. So, uh, do I get to read the book? I mean, no, I haven't started the book yet, but that's not the point. Because, um, because I, 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 I can write what I want whenever I want now. I, I'm, I'm, you know, I'm, I'm my own man, man. Man, it feels good to be alive. Oh, Fraser, you're home. Good, good. Wait, 
How are you? Did you hear the good news? Yeah, I was just saying. Yeah, bought us a bottle of red. You know, it really is just a myth that the wine has to be stored at room temperature. It should really only apply for the less temperate climates. Like, so um, for like, um... Us putting it in the fridge for dying. Cannot so disclose the correct way to drink it for dying. Cannot so... I mean, yeah, you know, Fraser? Fraser, are you listening? Well, I think I should leave now. Wait, I'll, I'll walk you home. Okay. Don't stay out too late. Look at you. You're pathetic, you know that. You're nothing. You can't even hold yourself upright. You're pathetic. You're not worth my time. You're the lowest of the low in this society. You're nothing. You can't even get yourself a job. You're living off benefits. I pay for your taxes. I pay for your money. I pay to put food on your table. You're nothing. You're pathetic. Well, you better stay the fuck away from me. Do you even know who I am? You're up early. Excuse me? I said, you're up early. Yeah, I, um, I, I, I caught that much, except it's uh, half one, and here you are, sat in your pajamas eating breakfast. When are you gonna fix yourself, Fraser? It all starts with a good man's rest, you know? No, I don't need your lectures. It was a... It was a joke. It's like a contradiction. It's supposed to be funny. How's that novel coming along? It's getting there. Uh-huh. And, uh, what's it called? It's, a. Uh, I haven't gotten to that part yet. What do you mean you haven't gotten to that part yet? What did you tell Jenkins at the interview? You know how hard I pushed for him to see you, and here you are, squandering your chances. I mean, jeez, Fraser, come on. You're better than this. Don't you jeez, Fraser, me. I haven't really talk about your novel. You know, your, your criticism of the success 
of your last one, which was, um... How long ago? One... Two years ago? Oh, I doubt your audience even remembers you anymore. You're right, I should leave you to it, but there's something I need you to know, Fraser. Don't tell me, because if it's about your sexuality, I don't care. <laughs> what? What? No, no, if it's, it's more important. Look, can you just listen for once, Fraser? I'm... Writing my next novel. That is to say, uh, I've almost finished my, um, next novel. Oh, is that it? I, uh, I, I didn't want to tell anyone. At least, not just yet. I haven't even told Jenkins about it. What's it about? I'd rather not say. What's the point of that? Uh, well, it's... It's focused on a lot of themes that I've taken, like directly from my everyday life and well, I'm almost finished and I've become attached to the characters I guess. It's not like I don't know what I'm going to write, it's just that I don't want to write it that way. Okay, I guess. I was thinking of throwing a little uh, get together and announcing it then. Uh, I'd invite some of my more literary friends and yeah. Yeah, you wouldn't be um to against uh, having it here, would you? You could invite some of your friends, just make sure that uh, <laughs> they're well dressed and... Uh... Uh. Hmm. Jenkins will be there. <laughs> and uh, we might get a good deal of press too, so <laughs> I think it'll be good uh, to announce it then, yeah? Yeah, yeah, well, whatever, it's fine. Are you okay, Fraser? Yeah. Yeah, I'm okay. If you want, I can um help you with that novel of yours. How about we schedule time for like next week or something and we'll run it all the way through. I'll even um book you up a follow up meeting with Jenkins if you want. Yeah. He said I was fine. Don't spend too much time up in your own head. Say taxi, yeah. Yes, it is. Excellent. Look, I'm returning your inquiry. We won't be able to book you in for another Jenkins interview for 12 more. Is that uh, days or weeks? 12 weeks, yeah. Right. 12 weeks. 
You couldn't possibly give me the name of any other literary agents, could you? Certainly. Hold on, hold on. I need to get a pen. I'll fetch my Rolo yes. digs. Sorry, I just gotta find some paper. Yeah. You could always try calling Philip Clasp. Clasp, Clasp. Is, is, um, that is, a, is, is that a clasp with a C or a K? C. Oh, I need to switch hands, sorry. C. S L A. S. B. Clasp. And the number is? 040,495670028 and eight yes. minus six. Uh, written down. Thank, thank you. Um, are you doing anything this Saturday night? Not with you. No. Okay. Thank you. Uh, thanks for that. Um, uh, goodbye. Have a nice day. Something the matter, Fraser? Nothing. No, did, did something look the matter? I didn't mean to eavesdrop, but uh, I did say I could swing you another interview with Jenkins. If I need your assistance, I will ask. <sighs> Alright then. I'm just trying to help, you know. Clasp. It's a bit of an unusual name. Sounds a bit like a an onomatopoeia, <laughs> if you ask me. You like a seat? Humanly, why would the brother of Frederick Cetaxia request a meeting with me? I'm an untapped bouncer. No. I'm. I'm an untapped well of potential. I've been told that you are a literary agent with a considerable pull in this industry. Pull? Industry? Who gave you my details? Jenkins Secretary. That's not important. Picture this. I'm a piece of coal. But I'm one of those rare pieces of coal that, that go on to become a diamond. Are you following me, Klaus? I love the prose of Hemingway and the morals of Aldous Huxley. Just trust me on this class. Look, I just need to get one foot in the door, and then I'll be set. One foot. Jenkins, how'd that fraud get my number? Listen, Praytax, if I may call you that, I am not the man you think I am. I mostly deal with, how do I put this to man your stature? Specialist novels. Like a specific kind of genre. I don't think you've got the right idea. I arrange to publish books of a more mature nature. 
I'm a mature rider. I'll, I'll, I'll just give you a chance. I'll, I'll show you. Do I need to spell it out for you? Erotic literature. Hardcore pornographic literature. Are you sure? Of course I'm sure. I, I, I should go. I just don't do well with large crowds is all. I just think that a smaller store would suit me better. Frederick, I'm concerned. Of what? Well, I don't mean to pry, but it's that brother of yours. I think he's trying to uh, take your reputation. My reputation? I doubt it. Fraser is unique as an individual. Well, then he's going to be a black spot in your career. You think so? He's immature. He doesn't seem to put in a decent day's work. And frankly, I'm surprised that he is related to someone as talented as you. Yeah, he's, um... He can be overly critical, and sure, he never listens, but... Fraser's just going through a bit of a, a rough patch at the moment. You have to understand that. You know, we were, um, discussing his new book the other night, and it wasn't all bad. I think you should give him a second chance. I think, I think he's ready for a second interview, and who knows, he may be even impress you a little? Well, you know, Frederick, if he was anyone else's brother, I'd have turned him down. All right, then, we'll just make sure he isn't late this time. Frederick, I lost my key inside. Do you think you could open the door for me? Frederick? Frederick? No. Frederick, I'm home.
Frederick? Frederick, have you cooked dinner? Oh, no, he hasn't. Frederick, are you in here? Have you cooked dinner? Frederick. Oh, no one's home. Oh, Jesus. Jesus. The hell was... What the hell is all this shit? Christ, Frederick, you're pretentious. This page was left intentionally blank. Whoa. These books from the Oops. Ooh, what you got here? Cooking Frederick. Oh. Wade, you made it. Good to see you. How'd you go? Yeah, good. A raging party got going on. Where do you get the drinks around here? Um, wait. It was... in your own. I don't know. Fraser! Um, that's a... lovely jacket. I took it from your wardrobe. How about we go inside? I can introduce you to some of my friends. Yeah, because Mario hasn't had their dinner. So. Cook the snags up in the middle. Cook the snags up in the middle. All I want is a fucking water bottle. They said, no, we're not doing this. Yeah, we're not doing this. It's a basic food for you and a barbecue chicken. No, I know, luckily, it's all cash. No, not pizza. It's like No, it's not cash. It's not cash. It's called, um, Soul, Soul Valley. No, it looks very good for sure. <laughs> um, everyone, this is, uh, this is my brother. Um, he's an aspiring novelist too, aren't you? Do tell. Fraser, isn't it? He was good as far as your brother. Please, give the prize. Oh, come on. He doesn't have to do that. Oh, how bad can he be? How about this? 
The monotony of life elapsed through childhood. Stars beckoning. Nay, yearning to break free. A gasp, a windy, hollow gasp, followed by a loud, piercing scream. An unforgiving light. An unforgiving light of existence. Man. Rather droll, isn't it? Typical. Not bad. Just typical. Oh, <laughs> Nice, nice, nice seeing you all here. Um, I'm glad you um, all can make it, yeah? Okay, Fraser, enough of this attitude. This is, this is a really important night for me. But, like, what, I, I... Look, just, just tone it down a minute. Please, Fraser. James Cameron nailed some guy's phone to the floor. I'll set up that time. I'm going to be drinking straight Finger foods. Seventh wonder of the world, aren't they? Excuse me? Nice place you've got here, Frederick. Jenkins, I, um, I thought you couldn't make it. You remember, uh, my brother Fraser. No, no, I don't believe we've met. humble abode this evening and I'm <clears throat> I hope you're all enjoying yourselves I guess some of you have uh, realized there's a reason why I've invited you out tonight and well you're not wrong um well I'm not one to, <laughs> to waffle on so I I guess I best just cut to the chase I've invited you all here tonight my uh, my closest friends and colleagues um, to announce something that I've been been working on for a while now, and uh, gosh, here I am, I'm all worked up and ready to say it, just uh, so hard. I best just, I best just blurt it out then. I am no. Oh, oh man, calm down. Look, I don't pipe your drunk shit. Hey man, just calm down. Calm down. What the hell are you even doing down here? It all got a little too real for me in there. I think I might head home. Like, nobody. Nobody parties midweek. Uh, I don't know what to do. I've got another appointment that literally fuck. I've got nothing to show for it. Never call me back. What? Yeah, you're right. I do have that other draft. If I delete everything but the hard copies, then, then no one can steal my work, right? Uh, then, I, then I can hand it in, and, and I can get signed, and everything will be will be all right, right? I thought you said you hadn't written anything. Shit. Listen to me. I have a hard copy of the final draft. That's all I need. And he'll love it and he'll love me. It's just that easy.
it over your resume. And well, let's just say a little on the average side. going on here? Who the hell are you? What's going on here, Frederick? You could have phoned ahead. This, this is just ridiculous. I mean, I'm not even prepared. Frederick, you always throw me in in the deep end like this. Fraser, calm down. This isn't about you. If this isn't about me, then what is it about? Some... It's just an interview. I don't understand. Why are you... Why are you getting so upset? Oh, right. <laughs> it's just an interview. Did you hear that, everyone? <laughs> it's just an interview. Oh, bless, I think... I'm sure Pension would be very proud of you. Are you still... Are you still good to go? Yeah, yeah. It'll be fine. Okay. Great. Um, well, just follow off my lead, and if there's any questions you don't want asked, just tell me, and I'll um, edit them out in post. Mm -hmm. uh, don't worry about the camera too much, it's just for our monthly e-zine, and no one really watches it anyway, so. Um, cool. Uh, right, let's go. I'm here with young novelist uh, Frederick 
Sataxia, renowned for having his first full-length novel published at just the age of 18, and still floating off of the success of his second uh, bestseller, he has really taken the young adult audience by surprise. Uh, stepping into the limelight again this week, he is holding a book reading for his previous novel, uh, What's All This About Infinite Desks? <coughs> Maybe we'll just do a second take, okay? Okay. Mm. Okay. Um, let's see. I'm here with um, Frederick Sataxia, a young novelist, renowned for having, at just 18, his first uh, full, full length novel uh, published. Uh, here we are once again with our feet uh, firmly in the limelight. Uh, I can't work with him in the background. Sh shall I? Shall I reschedule? No! No, no, it, it's fine, okay? Fraser! What are you doing? Just... Leave us be. Please. God. What is wrong with you? Has... Anyone ever... Died from stress? I... Don't know. I think I might be the first. I am the portrait of a young artist, but I just, I just can't do it. You can't do what? I can't write the fucking novel way. That's what. Have you? Tried to read more? I've tried that. Maybe you should sit down and have a good think. Brainstorm some. I've fucking tried that, Wade. Are you even listening to a word I'm saying? Okay then. Think of some of your uh, favorite ideas and write them down. I don't have any fucking ideas. That's why you brainstorm them. But, but I, 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 just, I just can't think of any. Maybe you should just leave it for a bit, and then you might think of something later. Hey, wait. Let's just say, hypothetically, you're writing a novel, and you're just struggling to get any ideas whatsoever, and you're just living with someone who's a non-stop pressure, he's always just getting on your nerves about the smallest things. But, out of, I don't know, out of, out of thin air, this novel manuscript just conjures itself right in front of you, and you get curious. So you pick up the manuscript, and you start reading it, and it's just so good. Every single page is so original and so amazing. You can see that this script is best, bestseller classic written all over it. It's... Wait. I question you. your own.
Fraser. Yes. What? Sorry. Your brother tells me you're very keen on working with me. Although last time you were here, it didn't seem that way. Well, yeah, um... Well, actually, I was going through a very rough breakup at the time. And he kept pushing me. He? Yes, he, he kept pushing me forward. Fraser, I don't think that's quite appropriate. Listen, you're very lucky to have a brother as brilliant as Fraser. It's only because of him that you are here today. So let's have a look at that manuscript and show me what you've got there. What I've got where? Your novel. That's why we're here, isn't it? My novel? I haven't written anything. I mean, I haven't written anything yet. Oh, come on, it can't be that bad. It looks nearly complete. Oh, right. The novel. My novel. The novel I wrote. I spent a great deal of time working on it after our first interview. I think it was after that horrible breakup I had that I just I just needed time some motivation and, and just time to get my mind clear. And huh? Huh? Yes. Yes, your style was quite unique. But I must admit, I feel as I've read this somewhere before. I just can't put my finger Oh this sentence is quite good actually. I'll take it. Don't mind me. I'm, I'll be in touch, okay? God, you're there. I... I don't know what's happened. I, I don't know what to do. What do you mean? I haven't done anything. This isn't about you, okay? Do you remember... Do you remember me telling you about a, uh... A novel I was writing? Mm, barely. Alright, um, whatever. Well, I was on my way to my, my publisher, right? And... Uh, I don't know what happened. I, I've lost it. It just... It's just gone. It's gone? Don't you have any uh, backups, second copies, USBs, cloud storage, uh, external hard drives, you know? No, Fraser, it's gone. I had, um, I had one hard copy from the event, and it's just gone. Can't you just say, I don't know, write it again? Shut up for once and listen to me. It's gone, Fraser. This is what I've written, okay? Just. Listen to me. This is what I have written, Fraser. Do you have any idea how I'm feeling right now? Do you know where I could be? Any idea at all, Fraser? Any idea? Um, I think I, I think I saw Jenkins with it. What? I said I. I, I thought I saw Jenkins of it. What?
I read the news today. Oh boy. So, I finally get off my ass and do something. I, I finally have the, um, the ambition and motivation to, to, to follow my dreams. And yet, I'm almost as good as you, but here you are. Ready to try and take me down. Maybe I was wrong. Maybe, maybe this is all about you, Fraser. It just, it's just so familiar. I mean, I mean, did you even read it? What kind of question is that? I mean, did you even read it? I know, Fraser. I know everything, okay? I put it together piece by piece by piece. I know you can't write, Fraser. I know. But you didn't even try! You didn't even give yourself a chance! And here you are! Stealing my work? I mean... I just... I just can't believe it. I know you took my novel. And... And I know you saw Jenkins. And I know he's gonna sign you on for my work. I know you stole from me. Oh! Did I? Oh yes, that's right. It wasn't Dr. Jenkins who stole it. It was me. I took it because it's mine. I, I don't know what it is with you, but it, you're always trying to outdo me. I mean, you know what? Fuck you, you know? F fuck you. Razor! Sh sh shut up! Listen to me. I said listen to me. Look, we'll, we'll call Jenkins, all right? And we'll tell him, we'll tell him what this is, this is all about, okay? And we'll sort it out together and we'll, we'll get through it. Fraser, I just want to help. You've always been this way, so conceited within yourself and so self-depreciating and so... and so depressed I said shut the fuck up! <sighs> Fraser, I just wanna help you Don't touch me, for God's sakes <sighs> Fraser? Fraser, stay Stay and we'll work. I we'll work said, don't touch me, you fucking bastard. <laughs> Seriously, I don't know what it is. It's, it's always been this way. Oh, Fraser, you, you're so pathetic. Oh, Fraser, when will you learn? Oh, Fraser, why, why can't you be more like your brother? Why? Uh, uh, sorry, friends. We, we can't afford to send you to the, the same school as him. It's not that we don't love you, son. I mean, Jesus Christ. What? Fraser. Fraser, stop. <laughs> Fraser, this, this is... Uh, have you ever read Plath before? <gasps> She's a poet. She took her own life in an oven whilst her kids were still sleeping. Poets, authors, you're all the same.
see if they have a disconnect here. Look, my 910 must be waiting for me.